Apatax. How you doing? I'm Mark Ostrick. And I'm Josh Levine. And you are watching Apatax. Apatax. On this episode, we are looking at a very cool app for iPhone, iOS. Uh, iOS. 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 It is called <clears throat> Time Lapse. I Time Lapse. I Time Lapse. I Time Lapse. Pre self explanatory with the name of the program. It does time lapse. Okay, that's it. You've been watching Hypothetics. <laughs> <laughs> with iTime Lapse, when I downloaded it, it was a free app. It is no longer a free app. You know. How much is it now? It is now $1.99. <laughs> I know. What is time lapse? Time lapse photography. <laughs> uh... <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. It's uh, taking one photo every certain amount of time to then be able to play it back in a speeded up sort of thing to allow and time. And does this, to let's take a quick look. Does this give you options of how often you want to? It does. We will start a new project here. Okay, hey. With a new project. So start for time, time lapse, you can actually set the intervals to decide on how often you want it to take it. What are some of the choices? One shot every second. Look at that. Two hours. by hours. You can also have it set you know, to do it manually, well, you will do it yourself. They recommend that you plug, that you have your phone plugged in or your eye device right. uh, plugged in so that you don't end up running out of battery. I think this is a great little filmmaker's tool or anybody that's interested in creating interesting video content with their handheld, you know, yeah, smartphone. I, I love it. I actually went out and bought an adapter to put my iPhone yeah. onto a tripod because I was shooting time-lapse video in my studio. Also with it, you can also have it set to how many frames it'll go, when it'll stop. You can set the resolution. HD, right? You could do yeah. this in HD. So I advise always shooting in HD. Always capture in the highest quality possible. Which I did. The only problem with that end Let's up... Let's hear the problems. You end up, you know, it, it takes Tells up a huge phone. amount of memory. Once it's done shooting, you then have it render it, and you can set it for how many frames per second you want to render, the resolution, the, cool. you know, a lot of stuff like that. But I've been super happy with the result. Well, cool. I think it's a great like little add-on tool. So you want to shoot you yourself working, or your sunsets, or your family, yeah. or or just what's going on like outside your totally. house in the daytime. If you, because obviously you can use a. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh look, I'm getting a phone call. Mm -hmm. We will deny. Sorry, Sorry, baby. <laughs> um, if you're getting a call and it's on time lapse, will it just keep recording or does it? Well, it block it it'll out? pause it. It pauses while it's ringing, but then just starts again. Yeah, it'll start back. That's up good. Again. So you don't have to re-hit any buttons. No. So because if you have it in a weird yes. place, you could have that. Going. You can leave it going. Everybody likes watching time lapse. It's kind Who of. Who doesn't like time lapse? I don't like you if you don't like time lapse. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Mark Ostrich. And I'm Josh Levine. And you are watching Abitax. Abitax. What do you want for free? Okay, that was good. I hope. Let's see. Bye.